taking a look at old time hockey from V7 Entertainment. In full disclosure, I did get a review code, so I guess we'll consider this my official review of the game. Now, old time hockey is billed as a retro hockey game, as you can see from some of the graphics here. And it is set in the 1970s in a fictional minor hockey league, the Bush Hockey League, or the BHL. So as you can see here, we have an old retro stadium. Now, the crowd's packed here, but in some of the games, it's half full stadiums. You got no advertising on the ice or the boards. You got bench clearing brawls, goalie fights, uh, you name it, it's all in here. It's old hockey equipment, it's old goalie equipment. Some of the players have no helmets, mustaches, afros. You get the picture. It's old time hockey. It's old time minor league hockey. Yeah, think Slapshot the movie. Okay, so let's take a look at what this game has to offer, okay? So you have exhibition mode and story mode. Those are the two modes you can play. There's a couple other cool things here under help and options, show you how to play the game, and extras. What I really like about the extras is the collectibles. Is when you do certain things during the game, you unlock hockey cards, and look at this hockey card here. This is right out of the 70s. This is really cool. They put in a lot of time in setting the, uh, the ambiance and the uh, aesthetics of this game to fit perfectly in the 70s, because this is basically a 1970s uh Tops or OPG hockey card, whatever the, the brand was back then. So this is really kind of cool, especially for someone like myself who grew up watching hockey in the 70s and the 80s and actually collected all kind of cards back in the day. That's really cool. So th the little things in this game make it really cool. So let's just jump into an exhibition game before we jump into story mode, shall we? So you have 10 teams to choose from in this fictional league. So we have uh, the Widowmakers, and Timbercats, Silvers, and you can see on and on and on the different teams you can choose from. So uh, we will pl we'll play against uh, the Ice Anglers. I always want to call this Los Angeles when I see Ice Anglers, but it's it's not. Uh, it's it's War Road, and we are going to be. Um, What's a good team to be? We'll be the Widowmakers. Okay. Uh, I like that you can choose your jerseys right off the bat. You can choose either jersey and there's also an alternate that you unlock during the game so me being a big jersey guy i like that feature and it definitely has a very simple 70s vibe to these jerseys whereas they're they look like the logos are made on an etch -a sketch which they probably were back in the day so we're going to start it up here uh one thing you got to notice there is no online mode in this game yeah so if you want to play with a buddy you got to play it like Sega Genesis NHL 94. You got to be on the couch playing next one. It's the only way you can play this game. It's not online. I really was hoping that this game would be so successful, they would make so much money, they would add an online mode, or they would have old time hockey 2 with an online mode. But as of right now, you can only play local. Now, in 2017, that could be a big deal because everybody wants to play online. For me, I don't play a lot of online head-to-head -head because I'm just not that good. I'm an old-school guy that chooses to play by myself. But uh, this is one game I probably would play online because it's it's billed as a retro NHL 94, just a slapstick, slapshot type of game. This is something I play online because it's not a very competitive game. Okay, but you can't play online. Okay, so let's take a look at the settings. Okay, so you have the different skill levels. You can play. You have rookie, sophomore, and veteran right now. The period length. Now, the period go by really fast. Okay? So, you want to set this as high as you can because the periods go by really quick. So, we'll just put it on two minutes just to see what happens. Uh, they have the different offsides. So, they have the 70s offside rules. They have the modern day offsides or none. So, you can choose whatever you want to choose for that. Icing the same way. And then you have the tiebreaker. You want overtime, continuous OT, or no overtime. We'll play no overtime. Okay? Uh, Taking a look at the visuals, they have different camera angles. Uh, I prefer action and classic because uh, that's what we're used to when we're playing NHL hockey games. Prefer up, obviously. Uh, then you have a couple of the the other options here. Volume. I tend to bring menu music way down. I tend to find that be a little obtrusive when I'm playing games. And finally, the control. Now, this is one thing I think they're working on is you have... Uh, four different modes. You have retro, advanced, two button, and beer mode. Beer mode is designed to play with one hand, 
as you can see. So you can hold it in the left or the right hand, move a guy and pass and shoot with the bumper and the trigger, and you can be having a beer or a beverage in your hand. Um, the retro mode is just simple Sega Genesis shoot and pass, okay? Uh, much like the, the two button mode, which is pretty simple uh, to the, the, two, uh, the retro mode. Advanced though, this has all the goodies in it. This is the the hooking and the elbows and all this other stuff here, and they've got it locked. You have to play story mode to unlock this mode, which is not a good thing right out of the gate, okay? They need to make this fun, and locking this does not make it fun, okay? Uh, there is a code you can put in, uh, much like the old Nintendo games you can find online that will unlock this, but without that code, this is locked. So we're just going to play... The, uh, the retro mode as far as the controller goes. Okay, so we will uh, confirm all that. And we should be good to go. So let's start our exhibition game here in old time hockey. Now again, the whole vibe here is 70s. Everything here, you got the pastel colors, the goalie mask, the blood, no helmets. Uh, some guys with old school helmets, they do a really good job of making this feel like you're in... The 70s, okay? And even when the game comes up, you'll see it looks like it's in a TV mode. Okay, it looks like you're watching TV on an old TV. So th Welcome they've done a good job. Here's, here's the TV Tonight's mode we talked about. And now here's a minor league stadium. I like the graphics here. It's kind of like a cell shading thing. They introduced the referees, a couple of the players here. I think the graphics are fine. It does a really nice job. My favorite thing Dale is there's no ads and the old nets. I love these old nets. I wish they never the changed them. They just look okay. so nice. The design is so the puck goes in, curls around, and comes Jeffrey, out. The Chico nets nowadays, I hate the nets nowadays. The I don't like that. So you see the goalie. He's got the old waffle, the old mask, the whole bit. The referee's got the slap shot, red stripes jerseys, and, and away we go. So I have the above Field mode here. Wins the face -off. And I got the two button mode on. And then we come wow. to the gameplay, and this is where the wow. game suffers right now. Everything about this was fantastic until the puck drop. The AIs, if you want, I can't win a faceoff to save my life, okay? I've played six or eight games, and I'll see, here's my defenseman. The guy just goes right between my defenseman every time. My defenseman either stand there or they get out of the way. And this what has been my experience with the gameplay so far, is computer wins every face-off. They skate in between my defensemen who don't do anything, and they score. Wins the face -off. So the gameplay needs some tweaking because this is a fantastic premise of the game until you got to play it, and then it suffers. Um, they did fix a couple of things with updates, so I, I will say they are working on this game, so I'm pleasantly surprised with that. But well, you see how slow it is. And see how the, the passing is the only good thing right now. See how the puck just kind of dies? It, that should be dying like that. And I'm trying to skate, but it's like I'm skating in sand, trying to catch up to everybody. And with all the advanced controls locked, there's not much else I could do except just try to skate. Um, these animations are kind of cool here, throwing the sticks. You can see the crowd, half-empty crowd, and, you know, it's not a full arena and the whole so aesthetically, this game is really cool. Um, gameplay, as I mentioned, is is really tough. There's just there's no defense being played. Again, I'm gonna get lit. I'll probably lose this game eight nothing, and that's about the average I play. And I, I think I was on the rookie mode too. I'm not really playing this on a very difficult level, but I have yet to win a faceoff or consistently win a faceoff. I won a couple, but. It, this is this is what the gameplay is. It's it's the computer winning the faceoffs, getting up the middle between my D and shooting till they score. The goalie doesn't cover up the puck. That's one thing you'll notice. So you'll never have to worry about that. He always plays it. And I do like how the goalies. Let me change the angle here. I'm gonna change the angle of the options just so we can get a little closer. See, see, I'm in rookie mode and I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, that's not how it should be. So I'm gonna go to actions. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So you can kind of get a better look at the guys. So I prefer to play in this mode here. I think I can get a little bit more control out of the game. The passing I like as mentioned, but everything else is really kind of clunky. 
Uh, I like how the goalies don't butterfly, though. They don't have a modern style. They definitely play stand-up style goalie. A chance. He it away to dip but the gameplay need, it needs drastically. It, it needs a speed save. control. And I actually did uh, send a message to V7 in Old Time Hockey, and they did say that they're working on a he few things. A um, they didn't say if they're going to work on game speed, but they have, they have done quite a bit of updates. So I've been pleasantly surprised um, that they, they've stuck with this since uh, they released it, and they've definitely fixed a bunch of things. So that's the first period. So, so we can take a look at the box score. Now, again, everything is really got a 70s vibe to it. If you look at the box score and um, even the score here, the overlays directly out of Hockey Night in Canada from the 70s. So they've done a really good job uh, with the visuals in this game. I just think that they spent way too much time on the visuals and not enough on the gameplay because that's what they need to fix. Okay, so we're going to quit this right here and we're going to take a, a look at story mode now. Now, story mode in a in a uh, sports game, let alone a hockey game, is kind of weird, but I thought it might be cool. Is that cool? What are they going to do with story mode? Okay, so what happens in story mode is you start playing as one particular team that's lost a bunch of guys due to injuries and you're trying to bring them back from a horrible season into the playoffs okay there's a little backstory that appears with newspaper articles and things like that um, not so much cut scenes but just things you can read on the screen to kind of give you an idea what's going on in the story so you're trying to get the uh the hinto brews into the playoffs so they don't lose their sponsorship okay now i've already played one game here in the calendar and as you can see uh where is it right there uh, I lost four to nothing. Okay, I've played game two here uh, on Saturday night, December twentieth, nineteen seventy-five. I played this game five times against the Cobalt Silvers. You can't advance until you meet these game objectives. Okay, twenty shots on net. I'm lucky to get twenty shots in net over the course of four games, let alone one. And as far as faceoffs. You saw, I cannot, if I win one face off a game, I'm doing well. So for me, you, 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 I can't meet these objectives. So I am stuck on game two of story mode, okay? You can't advance past the game. You just keep replaying the game until you meet these objectives. Neat idea, but considering it, all the advanced controls are locked, but the computer has them. The computer can hook an elbow and and do all these extra things that you can't do. So again, you're playing Battlefield with a single shot pistol, expected to kill 20 people before you can unlock the next good gun. So that's what this feels like, is you're up swimming uphill trying to complete these objectives just to advance the next game. Now what they've also done too is, is they've made the score irrelevant. If you lose the game 9 to nothing. But get these the 20 shots and win 20% of the faceoffs, you can advance to the next game. So they've taken away the idea of winning the game in favor of going for these objectives. Now, I did contact um, uh, you know, Old Time Hockey as well, and they did write back, which is kind of cool. But everybody's complaining about the objectives just being ridiculously hard for the skills that you're giving at the beginning of the game. And a lot of people are getting frustrated because they, they you just it takes forever to get through these objectives and the score of the game doesn't matter. And they said they are taking a look at that as well. So good for them. They're, they're trying to fix some of the things that didn't go right. It kind of makes me wonder at this point, how many people outside of the building of this game actually played it? Because I sat down and in the first five minutes. I, I could tell you everything that was, that was wrong with this game. And, but it's all easily fixed. Okay. This is not stuff that's a game killer. They can fix it and still save this game. Again, my opinion, but from all the reviews I'm reading, it's there's a lot of people that feel the same way. So again, rookie mode, two minutes. The other thing is, so I'm playing a two-minute period that I can't change. And boy, to try to get 20 shots on net in a two minutes, which really is more like 45 seconds, it is really difficult. And again, uh, if I go to control is here, Advanced control is locked. Although they, they, I did open up a couple things because I did get past game one. But um, um, yes, I'm going to exit and start the game. So let's start the game. And I'll show you a little bit of story mode. And again, the little little things that they talk about during the game kind of feed to the 
the whole atmosphere of the minor league team and then not caring and drinking beer and whatever. Um, but this is as far as I've got. And, and I've had this for uh, just about a week now. And I keep hammering away trying to get past this level, and I can't. And so as, as it stands now with the game right here, so now they've changed the objectives. So i got to get – no, actually it's the same. I'm sorry. Last time they changed it to passes. This is 20 or more shots. The killer is – the 20% of the face off. I can't Long win a face off. The Schuylkill Hinto Brews have just come out for a warm up. So here's the arena here. You can see there's hardly anybody here for this game, which uh, again Roy plays the, the aesthetic of the game. Some of the names are kind of cool. They they played on some old old names from time to time. Lou Petit is starting and I love the goalie mask and the whole bit. So officially this is pleasing. Um, is still everybody's fictional, by the way. This season, so again, lost the face off. I still don't know how to win a damn face off. And again, oh, computer comes Julio. down the slot. Delivers My defenseman just skate chance. away. There's Alec nobody at the front of the net, and only when they miss do I get to do something. So. So here's my guy with the puck. Now, see how I'm getting hooked and held in the whole bit? I think I turned off all the offsides and icing and just so I could get it. So, again, I scored. It won't matter, though, if I don't meet the objectives. Now, I did see if there was replay. Uh, so there's no option to see a replay on the goal. So they, they sometimes show a replay, but I don't have the option of it. So, again, I don't win a faceoff. I did figure out how to hit, and I'm doing okay with the hits. The aiming's a little tough, but I don't have enough unlock to keep up with this. And they said they're thinking about unlocking everything right off the start, which would be a huge difference in this game. Again, think the, the one single-shot pistol in Battlefield. And, and so the gameplay, again, slow. They've done some fixes to make it better, but... Banner. Well, there is a um, there is a skating boost, but Donaldson. it's not unlocked yet. So again, I couldn't skate away from that guy. Too good swimmer. Big stop. Good swimmer. Too Some of the names hand. are kind of creative. The announcer's kind of shoot and it goes missed. wide. I think the shooting Donaldson. could use a little fine tuning. The, the best thing about this game, as I mentioned, is the, the passing. To Neitzel. Neitzel lets it go. So, again, I've won 0% of the face-off, so I, I will probably play this game. This will probably be the fifth time wins that I've played this game, Boom! and because I can't McKay win a face-off, I can't advance. I so I could win or lose Adam this game 9-0, uh, to nothing, and it won't matter. Tim I will Donaldson. have to rematch until I win enough face-offs, or until they change the objectives. Goal. Um, so I can't win a face-off. I, I don't know why they've made it so difficult on rookie mode, but, um, but they did. So as I kind of take this shot and miss the net here, we end the period, we'll take a look at my objectives and see how I did. So let's take a look at my objectives. Okay, so I got six shots on net, so... Uh, I'm still behind on what I need to do, and I get 0% of the face-offs. So again, I can't advance into the next game until I get these objectives. I find that they are very difficult. I, I haven't won a face-off, so if I can't win a face-off in this game, I can't advance. So for all intents and purposes, I am done with this game until I learn how to win a face-off. So for a game that's built as old-time retro fun, think NHL 94, it's slap shot, it's minor league hockey from the 70s, it is it has the potential to be one of the best hockey games to come out in a long time, sleeper pick of the year. They've just gone and made it too difficult to play. Um, I, again, good thing is, good news is they can fix it, but... As it stands right now on the day of the release, it's got a lot of work that needs to be done on the gameplay as well as the story mode. Um, and, and I'm hoping they will. They seem to be pretty receptive to everybody uh, as feedback on this. So, so we're going to clear out of this. We're going to exit the story mode because I will not win enough face-offs to advance. So I am stuck playing 
exhibition mode in this game until they fix the story mode or until I decide to sit here and figure out how to win a damn face-off. But as you can see, I hadn't won any face-offs in this entire video. So for me, I, I don't... I never had this problem with with NHL 94. I I didn't even have this problem with NHL 17. If you want to go, you know, uh, the different ends of the spectrum here, winning faceoffs was never that big of a deal, especially on rookie mode. But it is in old time hockey. So they need to take a step back, really look at this game, and see what they want to accomplish. And if they want to make this a fun old retro game, they need to tone down the difficulty and the settings in this game so you could just play it because quite honestly you see the picture here of the the the, the brawls on the ice and and all the good things you saw in the trailer i have yet to see because i can't unlock them it's all hidden behind the locked door of winning face-offs for me personally that i can't do so all this good stuff I will never see until it's fixed. So anyway, so those are my thoughts on old time hockey from V7 Entertainment. A lot of potential here, folks. Uh, gameplay suffers. That needs to be fixed. If they can fix it, this thing could be a real hit. And I'm hoping that they can fix it. They can make this a great game. And we see old time hockey too with online play because the premise of this game is fantastic. Just the gameplay needs a lot of work. So anyway, this is Dave with the Game Hounds. Thanks for watching.